Hi, this video is about scripts in MATLAB. What are scripts? Scripts is the simplest form of a MATLAB program. It contains lists of MATLAB commands or statements. And the extension of a script file for MATLAB is the .m extension. Now, a script MATLAB file or a .m file is a ASCII file, which means that you'll be able to open it using any text editor. So let me just show you an example. So these are some of the .m MATLAB script files. I can double click and MATLAB would run to show the script file. Or I could also open it using any text editor like Notepad or Text Edit for the Mac or um, Text Wrangler, uh, my favorite text editing software. So my, if I double click on this file, then it would open up in MATLAB and I would see the .m file. I can also right click on this file and open it with for example text edit and I'll be able to read the file or open it using text wrangler I'll be able to see the contents of the script file or the .m file so to create a .m file MATLAB script file in MATLAB what you need to do is just click on new and then a uh, .m file would open or click the arrow below the new button and choose script this is the .m file and you can type away the MATLAB commands in this file so I already have a sample .m file here called sample underscore one .m and a few things I like to highlight in this script file is different types of colors of the fonts this is a comment symbol, this percentage symbol, where anything after this comment symbol, percentage symbol, will not be processed by MATLAB. And it is color coded in green. You can add some more comments at the back. And it will continue not to process the line after the percentage symbol, comment symbol. If you go to the next line, I'd like to comment some more. You just need to add in more, um, add in the percentage sign and then comment away. Now, anything that doesn't have the comment style will be in black. And black is for any variables, equations. And uh, here I, I, I wrote the expression a equals to 1. It is in black, it means, which means that it will be processed by MATLAB. So here I wrote a few expressions. And uh, just to show to you how you can use a script, if you use a command line, Compared to the command line where you type in one by one, like say um, x equals to one, press enter and an x will, would appear here. Uh, but you would have to do it step by step, which can get tedious. So I would recommend you to use the command line if you like to test out a simple line or a simple expression or a simple command. But if you have uh, more than one command that goes in sequence, then you should put it in a script file. And uh, how you run a script file is just by typing the commands in here. The first command is a equals to 1, b equals to 2, and a plus b, and so on. And here I, I define x is from 1 to 10, and y is, is uh, 2 multiplied by x plus 5, which is a linear line, and I'm plotting it. So there's a list of commands that I put in the script, and if I press run here, then it will run all of it. It would define a is equals to 1, b equals to 2, and at the end produce the plot. So by clicking this button here, run. I would see the results of the process, whatever that has been processed by MATLAB in the command window. And I'll get to see the plot as well because there's a plot command in the script. Now, uh, this is another sample script. And here I like to highlight uh, if you want to create blocks in your code by using the double percentage sign. Notice that uh, anything below this double percentage sign will be in the code block. So if I have another double percentage sign then this will be another code block it's a useful visual tool for you to separate different sections of the code in this script what I want to point out is the the color of the font for this part um, which is pink what you've seen so far is green and black now if it's a string or if it's uh, in the form of characters within this quote that you explicitly specify to be a, a character then it would be in the pink color font same goes for this one x equals to 3 um, if I don't put the quote 
a MATLAB would assume it to be the number 3, but if I put it in quotes, then it, was, it, it knows that I like to have the tree not in the form of a number, but in the form of a character. If we do not close the quote, like here x equals 2, and there is a quote, and then the, the string, but there's no closing quote at the end, then the color of the font will be red to indicate that there will be an error here because you forgot to, you forgot to close the quote. There's another, another font color that you might see, and these will pop up if you uh, use the control and flow statements such as if or um, else or function switch and so on besides that uh, you notice the star at the end here the star indicates that you haven't saved the script yet so by pressing save then you would the star would disappear let's say I like to build a, a script from scratch so I just press plus and then I Write my code, comment first. E is 10. I'd like to calculate the natural log logarithm of E. Okay, let's say I'm done with the script and I like to save it. Click on save. And then save it as, so I'm just going to name it as sample 3. And then press enter and since we are saving it within MATLAB then it will create the .m extension for this file. One thing I like to mention is the use of the semicolon at the end of a command. Now in the script if you don't like to see all of the results of each statement in the command window then you can put a semicolon at the end so that it suppresses the output. MATLAB would suggest for you to include the semicolon so that it doesn't clutter up your command window and at most times it is not necessary for you to see the results because the results of the pro of the command would be saved in the workspace but if you're using the command window to test an equation then you wouldn't want to put the semicolon at the end because you won't be able to see the output here but if you do put it in if, if you don't put it in then you would see or like this. Regardless of whether you put the semicolon or not, the answer of this log e will be saved in the workspace. So that will be it for this video. Introducing to you the, the script concept or the .m file in MATLAB. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.